Well, the good news is that Skynet's probably going to happen, you know? Uh, the bad news is you're probably going to be alive during it because ChatGPT can now see, hear, and speak. So guess what? You know all those weird images Dolly generates where it's like the guys are walking and there's just like pile of human body parts with like a gun sticking out of it because that's just what it imagines people laying down? It will now tell you those nice nightmares in the voice of Samuel L. Jackson so that you can go to sleep with, right? That's what you get. You get all of that for free. We are beginning to roll out a new voice and image capabilities in ChatGPT. They offer new and more intuitive type of interface by allowing you to have a voice conversation or show Jippity what you're talking about. Their training data cut off in 2021. Trust us, okay? The training data of ChatGPT cut off in 2021. We all know it's a fact. They definitely haven't been training ChatGPT5. We know it to be true. Um... Oh, it's 2022 now. Even better. All right. We are now beginning to roll out a new voice and image capabilities in ChatGPT. They offer new and more intuitive type of interface. Okay, we already read that one. Nice job just repasting it. Maybe they should have considered ChatGPT to help them write their article head. Uh, voice and image give you more ways to use ChatGPT in your life. Snap a picture of a landmark while traveling and have a live conversation about what's interesting about it. <laughs> oh, man. Talk about history getting hallucinated. Dude, because it's not like ChatGPT doesn't just lie to you. It is. It, okay, first off, it is exciting. Why are you guys acting that way? Of course that's exciting. Just for a moment. I know, it's just the end of correct history. That's all. History will live on in incorrectness. Uh, when you're home, snap a picture of your fridge and pantry to figure out what's for dinner. Ugh. That would be sweet. I'm not going to lie to you. That would be pretty awesome. That would be pretty dang awesome. Uh, if I could just open up and just like snap a picture of a bunch of stuff and be like, help me make dinner. Tell me what I need. It better be good. This is a pretty good use case. Honestly, that would be a pretty good use case. I would like that. Uh, unless if they just hallucinate the difference between paprika and cumin. Okay. Very disastrous, really. Ask a follow-up questions for a step-by-step -step recipe. After dinner, help your child with a math problem by taking a photo, circling the problem set, and having to share hints with both of you. Or you could just learn math and teach your child. I'm just saying, it's not, it's not like it's hard, okay? The nice part is I know that I, I at least can help my kids through high school. That's kind of like my goal was that no matter what they do, I should be able to help them through high school. And also, ChatGPT is incredibly bad at math. Did you see those? Did you see that study about ChatGPT? If you tell ChatGPT to take deep breaths, it does better with math. Look at how effed up that thing is. It just literally mimics human behavior. Hey there, robot. Take a deep breath. Okay, your actual answer is this. Do you, are you happy that you're getting answers and code from something that you need to remind it to breathe? The thing that can't breathe you, is now you need to remind it. I'd actually fear chat GPT less if it were much better. LLM's process natural text uh, is so error prone and potentially RNG that it's uh, terrifying that Skynet might do something accidental rather than intentional. That's actually a fair take. That is a fair take. The chance of chat GPT accidentally launching a nuke versus chat GPT maliciously launching a nuke is probably a fair take. <laughs> Anyways, all right, we're rolling out the voice and images to chat Jippity uh, to Plus and Enterprise users over the next two weeks. Voice is coming uh, on iOS and Android, opt in in your settings. Terrifying, they're recording us all. And images will be available on all platforms. Speak with ChatGPT and have it all talk back. You can now use voice to engage in a back and forth conversation with your assistant. Speak to the devil himself. Uh, speak it with, uh, with it on the go. Request a bedtime story for your family. Dear goodness gracious, what is it going to do to you? Imagine an entire set of kids being raised by chat GPT. <laughs> it's worse. It's just humans without critical thinking. <laughs> oh, no. It's literally just the law of averages. With, a, with standard, de instead of standard, standard deviation, it just has standard error. How much is it going to break? I don't know. All right, to get started with voice chat, you got to do all this kind of crap. This, I mean, oh, here, here's a little, uh, a, a little example. Once in a tranquil woodland, there was a fluffy mama cat named Lily, Lila, Lila, Lila. One sunny day, she cuddled with her playful kitten, Milo, under the shade of an old oak tree. Milo, Lila began, her voice soft and gentle. You're going to have a new playmate soon. Milo's ears perked up, curious. A new playmate? My mom whored again? 
Yeah, little baby sister. We all know what cats do, okay? They're disgusting. I had three cats, and then I had 16 cats in a matter of weeks. <laughs> this shit sucks. Cats are disgusting. They literally get pregnant, have babies, and then they're off trying to get pregnant again. They're wild. They're impossible. You sound more like the old pervert from, from Family Guy. Hey there. Hey, Milo. Hey, guess what, Milo? I got a little playmate coming your way. Don't worry, Milo. We can just go, we can go get that playmate together. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm getting canceled. Stop it, chat. Stop giving me great ideas. Uh, report it, HR. Whoa, bloody hell. You do it way too well. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome, everybody. You're welcome for that. The name is ChatGPT. Reading, speaking, and reading images is most certainly going to end with a lot of really, really problematic points because here's the deal is that once they start getting all this data, they start training it really, really well. I mean, you got to think of the, impl the implications here, right? They don't like you. They can make a whole bunch of extrapolations. Hey, ChatGPT, give me all the people that act like this, act like that. I don't know. I'm always freaked out about those kind of things because now not only do you have something that just gets stuff wrong, they're going to start making it to, use deci to make decisions about people. I don't I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like the idea. Freaks me out. Okay. Freaks me out. Don't tread on me. I'm, I'm, that's it. A gen.